Hey guys, it's Matt, and today I'm going to show you how to carve your face into a pumpkin. It should look something like that. Well, I say your face, but you can carve anything you want. Here's my pumpkin. Now, uh, the first thing you want to do is find a light source. You can use uh, a light or a window, but you want it to be off to the side. Uh, and then you want to take some pictures. Uh, you want to make them nice pictures, though. You don't want your, fa your pumpkin to look dorky. So, uh, that's what I'm doing here, getting some good, nice photos. Oh, that's a good one. Let's use that one. Now I'll take you to the computer so that I can show you what to do with this photo next. Make sure to subscribe, guys. Uh, Alright, so you want to open this photo in uh, black and white. So you want to change it to black and white. You want it to be very contrasty um, because um, we're going to get rid of all the grays here in just a minute. So the first thing you're going to do is go and posterize the image. That will make it uh, into different shades. So you want a posterize of two, actually, which will make it completely black or completely white with no grays in between. So that's posterize, and the level is two. Um, or if you just want to paint on it, black and white, you can do that too. We're going to have to do some painting anyway. I'm going to paint the background out white. And then we're going to adjust the levels a little bit so that uh, we bring back some of the detail that was lost there. So I'm just bringing, brightening that side up, or darkening that side, actually, that was too bright. And uh, you want to make sure that's going to look good on your pumpkin. You don't need the body here, so we can get rid of that. And now what we're going to do is move in close and just paint black or paint white, because you can't carve in gray. So we're going to paint either black or white. And you want to take your time here and just make sure that... Um, nothing is going to fall out. So whenever you carve, uh, you don't want anything that's just going to be free-floating, otherwise it's not going to work. So you want to you want to look at it in, in uh, inverse mode, just like this, so that you can see if anything is going to fall out. So if there is anything that's going to fall out, you want to, uh, you know, add a little bit of black or white so that it, it'll have something to hang on to, just like that pupil there. So it'll have something to hang on to and not just uh, fall out when you cut it out. So you can't be too detailed with a pumpkin carving, so you're going to have to uh, get rid of some of the hair detail and just little details, but you'll end up with something like this, and then you want to print it out, just like that. Oh, I got it uh, the wrong way. Let's do a vertical picture here. <clears throat> there we go. That ought to be just about the perfect size for the pumpkin. So. We're going to take that, we're going to take some tape and I'll put that on. First you'll need a knife, some tape, some uh, tools that you can get. Oh, dropped them at Walmart. You'll need a bucket and something to put your pumpkin on and your picture, of course. Okay, now uh, lay it out. And we're going to cut the top off of the pumpkin here. You want to cut it inwards like that so that it won't uh, just fall through. Now we're going to scrape out the pumpkin, get all that yummy stuff out of there. There we go. Okay, all clean. Now the next thing you want to do is figure out where you're going to put uh, the image, and then you want to scrape that. This pumpkin's about one and a half inches thick, so I want to scrape that down to about three quarter inches or so, so that it's not so thick when I try to carve. Then you can tape your picture on. You want to kind of cut the edges so that uh, it wraps around nicely. You can use toothpicks or anything, the tool that comes with the kit, or you can use um, a corn poker. And I'm just going to go around the edges and poke out uh, all the outlines that are in black here, or you can do all the outlines in white that you want to do too, just depending on how you'd like to carve the pumpkin. Remember, it's going to be inverse because the light's going to be shining through whatever you cut out. Okay, so I'm just going around making all the holes around the edges of the black, and... I think that's about it. Now we're going to take the tool, poke out my eyeball. That really hurt whenever I did that, by the way. Okay, and then take your tool and just start carving out the black. You want to keep the um, paper on there as much as possible so that you can see what you're doing. If you take the paper off, it becomes a lot more difficult. So um, you want to start on the inside, doing the intricate details first. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but uh, trust me, you want to do the intricate stuff first. Otherwise, your pumpkin will end up falling apart. 
So do the eyes and the mouth and the ears or uh, the nose. Anything in the middle that's really delicate first. Then work your way out. Oh, I needed to add some eyebrows there. Somehow that got lost in the photo. There we go. So I'm just going to work my way around doing all the intricate stuff first here. And sometimes you can hold the back or hold the front. Stick your arm down in the pumpkin if you need to to hold it from uh, when you're sawing to keep it from poking out the back side. Some pieces you'll want to go through the back. Some you can pull out the front. But angle it so that uh, it's a little bit wider in the back. That'll help with the light coming through. Okay, there we go. So then you want to clean it up with a rag. Clean up the inside a little bit. Take your time to clean it up. And you'll end up with something like this. Let's check it out in the dark. Put a candle inside here. It's kind of hard to get video in the dark, but uh, let's show you a picture. There we go. That's what it'll look like. And with the lights off, there we go. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Here is the picture next to the pumpkin. That's me.